Lorium Income Prescient Fund falls into a multi-asset income category. What can funds in this category invest in? Okay, so it's a Regulation 28 uh, fund. Uh, it falls within that multi-asset income category, the ASISA category. Uh, it's subject to the Saab uh, exchange control rules as well, so that's 30% offshore, uh, potentially 10% uh, in Africa. Uh, invests across fixed income assets, so money market, bonds, credit, uh, preference shares, property, it's limited to 25% in property. Uh, it can own equity, although it's unlikely to, up to 10% uh, of the fund's value. What do you hope to achieve in this investment strategy and who would benefit the most? Okay, so we're looking to beat inflation. Inflation is really the enemy of any uh, investor, uh, particularly in this space. It tends to be focused on more kind of conservative, uh, later lifestyle, life stage investors. Um, so we're looking to achieve inflation plus three over, over a, um, a rolling uh, period, um, but we're also a focus on limiting downside risk. So no downside over a, a rolling three month uh, period. Again, it's focused on conservative investors looking at generating income. What are the largest drivers of returns in an income fund? Okay, so the biggest driver of return is, is yield. Uh, so we look at generating a yield in the portfolio. Um, we can invest across a number of different types of yielding uh, assets. So we can take a duration, which means we can take longer dated uh, fixed in interest uh, securities. Uh, we can invest in credit. Uh, typically this fund will be focused on much higher quality uh, credit, typically big full bank credit. Uh, we can invest in preference shares, which uh, give you yield. Property as well, a yielding asset, it's a nice asset, has real yields, but does come with some volatility, so you need to, to manage that. Uh, and then offshore assets as well. Um, so it can invest in dollar, uh, in dollar assets as well. Why is this investment strategy appropriate? Uh, it's, it's appropriate for, for individuals, investors that are looking to uh, generate consistent returns uh, that perhaps are drawing uh, income from, from, the, from the fund. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, sort of late um, stage investors, typically retirees or uh, later on in life, or whether there's a particular need for uh, a particular need for, for income. So those, those are the kind of investors that typically invest in this in this area.